And just a few hours ago, we spoke with the Wolfson High School students' parents who say they are relieved the appeal was denied. The ruling comes almost four years to the day since the teenager was shot and killed at a Southside gas station following an argument over loud music. After two trials, a jury found Dunn guilty and the judge sentenced him to life in prison. Dunn's attorneys filed an appeal to have the conviction thrown out. But today, the First District Court of Appeals denied it. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci has been covering the case since the beginning. Well, it really has been a difficult time for this young man's family going through so much right now. But they tell me they are relieved and they are comforted that this decision came back from the District Court of Appeals. Jordan, Jordan. It was a case that made headlines across the world, the so-called loud music trial. Michael Dunn in Jacksonville for his son's wedding claimed he shot Jordan Davis at this gas station in self-defense. Yes. In the first trial, jurors couldn't reach a verdict on the murder charge. Months later, a new jury convicted Dunn of first-degree murder. The judge sentenced him to life in prison plus 90 years. But Dunn's attorneys asked for that to be dropped in this 200-page appeal. But today, a six-page response from the District Court of Appeals. It says the judges feel he did get a fair trial. It's a great relief. Uh, unfortunately, I'm in the airport in Atlanta, Hartsville, and I can't seem to find a place to sit down and cry. So Jordan's parents found out this morning. Next week is Jordan's anniversary death. Uh, and I just thought that this was probably the best Thanksgiving blessing we could ever receive. It's not over, though. Dunn can still appeal on other grounds. It's standard, standard stuff to do an appeal. Throw, throw whatever mud against the wall uh, that you think will stick. Jordan's parents are still heartbroken about what happened and say this doesn't bring them closure. But it is comforting as they continue to work to make America a safer place. I'm trying not to mourn Jordan's death anymore. I'm using it as a means to celebrate his life. Never give up. Never give up hope. Always fight and always put God first. And I spoke with three of Michael Dunn's attorneys today. One man told me that he was obviously disappointed with the outcome. He's reviewing the case and looking to see what their next step is, looking to see if they are going to choose to appeal it another time. In the meanwhile, Michael Dunn being held on life in prison charges, uh, first degree murder charges, as well as attempted murder, a slew of other charges, life in prison, although we do not know which prison he's sentenced to because that is being kept confidential, according to the Department of Corrections, for his own personal safety. We're live tonight on the South Side. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. As we said, Vic has covered this case for almost four years since the beginning and has been talking with the family through all of it. Vic, were Jordan's parents ever concerned the verdict would be overturned? Well, when I spoke with both of them this afternoon, they told me yes. Lucia McBath especially said yes, she was worried. She has faith. She's very confident that the right things will happen and that justice will be served. But she said she wouldn't be telling the truth if her heart didn't flutter a little bit. Obviously, this produced a lot of anxiety for both Lucy McBath, the mother, as well as the father, Ron Davis. But both of them have been incredibly strong and brave through this terribly difficult process. And they say they're going to continue to keep the faith and keep pushing for positive change. Vic Michelucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.